Mr. Travis Condon here, joined with a special guest in studio right now, Mr. Thornton Klein. Thornton, how are you today? Great, great to see you, Travis. Now, Honor. Now, Thornton, you are a Renaissance man, if I read your website correctly and your flyer. You are not only producer. Take out the trash. <laughs> Take out the trash. You're a good family man right there. Yeah. You're a performer and teacher. Now, today you are in Farmville um, to talk about your brand new book. And what is your book called? It's called Practice Personalities, What's Your Type? Practice Personalities, What's Your Type? Now, what is the book, what does it cover in the book? I know you're a musician. Uh, for those of you who don't know, you have won numerous awards for your songwriting. You've actually, tell us about some of your biggest accolades. Well, I've had two. Um, Songwriter of the Year in, in, in Nashville. I won't say the year because so <laughs> put me oh, that's right. but that's still Songwriter of the Year uh, twice by the Tennessee um, Songwriters Association there. And it's really honor and everything. And, uh, and then the uh, practice, I write pop and country mm -hmm. and um, gospel and Christian music and everything. And the practice personalities, what's your type? Um, it took about a year to write and I, I identified, I talked to over a thousand people, a thousand students, interviewed them and everything, observations, mm -hmm. and came up with these different personality types. And it's a neat way to teach students. Not all, t not every student's the same. I mean, they're all different. Everybody's different. And I developed an effective and efficient way to practice and to teach students how to practice. And this is good for everybody, musicians mm -hmm. uh, that are listening here, and people that, any student, teacher, now, I know when I took guitar lessons when I was a younger student, I found that some of the books, it's, you know, kind of the same thing for everyone. Now, this book is basically saying that not all students are the same. Um, here's all the different styles, and then you try and fit, find which one matches your personality, and then practice accordingly. Exactly. In the book, there's an actual chart, mm -hmm. and the, the person gets to identify their own personality with the characteristics and traits. Isn't that cool? Over a period of three to six months or longer. That is very cool. Now, you've actually been teaching, if I remember correctly, for over 20 years. Is that correct? 25 years. 25 years. All right. <laughs> no, no, no problem. So now, um, did you find that this was especially helpful once you kind of discovered this um, for your students? Yes, it was a breakthrough, breakthrough uh, discovery. And, and I went, wow, I've been teaching all this time. And I'm going, things work for some students and some things don't work for them. And it makes it a lot easier to be able to practice and, and become efficient with your time and everything you're practicing. Now, you'll actually be at Longwood today um, doing a workshop as well as a book signing, so people can grab a copy of this book. Now, at the workshop, are you, wh which uh, sections of the book will you be highlighting, uh, really focusing on to tell people about this? Well, I'll first talk about the challenges of practicing, the benefits of correct practicing. I notice mm -hmm. I say correct practice because... It, it can be hard to practice. Because if you, don't you don't practice you bad or wrong all the time, it won't, won't sound very good. It right? won't sound very good, and also <laughs> I, I found that if, if you don't know how to correctly um, practice, that it, it's not that enjoyable. Mm -hmm. And miserable. Right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> run away from it, but um, we'll be talking about that, and then I'll identify. I'll talk about the nine practice personalities in the book, mm -hmm. and kind of help the people, the people that want to come and watch. And we're going to have some uh, performers from uh, Fuquay School and from some of the other schools around here. They'll be performing, and like to invite some of the people that are here in the community, the Farmville area, would like to come out and perform. Particular pickers, you know, people that play. Any, so any string instruments. String instruments. Um, so they're welcome to bring their instruments out. Now, does this cost anything? There's an absolute no cost. It's free. No cost at all. It's free it's and for um, the community. For the community, absolutely. So definitely want to check that out. And that's from 5:30 till 7 o'clock at the Longwood University Bookstore in Midtown Square in Farmville. And that's again, it's a free workshop. It's going to be great. And I just wanted to just I had to touch on the fact that love is the reason. A lot of people know that song, and you actually were the writer. Right. Song. So a lot of people don't know that. Um, what was it like having Gloria Gaynor? I know. I can't believe it. You know, you remember her big song was I Will Survive. Everybody's heard that. I mean, that's been done a million, gazillion times. Yeah. Always plays. And anyway, she's the one. What an honor. I mean, she recorded that song. Um, it was... I had been turned down tw 124 times on that song. Can you believe it? 124 That's nine. rejection. So I'm telling you folks out there listening, there's hope. There really is hope. Now, how <laughs> old were you when that happened? Well, uh, let's see. Well, that that was a while back. I'd say I was about uh, about uh, 30, around 30. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So still relatively young, and mm -hmm. for that to happen, that must have been That's amazing. incredible. And of course, Ingo Humper and King of Romance. Yeah, see. the King of Romance writes your, um, they produ produce your song, and you said, I was reading on your website, over 150 major and independent artists, artists. have mm -hmm. actually recorded different songs that you've written. And mm -hmm. I was laughing here off air because when I first met you, you said, you know, I've, I've written a few songs in my day, but trying to be modest, but it's been well over 800 songs. 
So you definitely know what you're talking about in this book. Um, you're not just someone who has no background experience. I mean, your whole career, you're, you, like you said, you've been playing instruments since you were five. So you really know what you're talking about. Now, is this the first book you've ever written, or have you written other books? Actually, I wrote one other one. It's a, a musical, uh, a book musical um, for middle students, um, and it's uh, it's called Band of Angels. And it's, and wrote that, and that's been pretty good. It's about a year before that. And, but this is actually my, just my first instructional. It's not an instructional, more a reference book. More reference, reference book, kind of help you look at practicing a, in a way you, you probably never would have considered before. Um, so hopefully all of our listeners will go out there check it out. Once again, that's from 5:30 till 7 o'clock tonight. Mr. Thornton Klein, thank you for stopping by. We're going to be talking thank about you. your yeah. book, Practice Personalities. What's your type? Go ahead and meet him. You can ask any questions you would like there. Uh, he can help you discover your personality type. And if you have an instrument, don't be afraid to bring it down. Right now, we're going to get back to the music. Here's Train coming up next on 92.9 Kick and Country.